everybody, I'm Stephanie and I'm Lindsay and we're the co-founders of the Curiosity Approach and inspirers of all things curious. So today we are talking, um, giving you a short video and inspired by our book The A to Z of the Curiosity Approach and we are looking at the chapter O for out outdoors and all those amazing wondrous opportunities that you can have in the outdoors and at a curiosity approach setting the outdoors is so important we are so inspired by our colleagues in Europe who ha have Scandinavian forest schools yeah. and their use of the outdoors and we bring so many of those elements, elements back you know in the UK it rains quite a lot so <laughs> We have to be prepared for all types of weather. You need to be weather warriors. In weather warriors. So a weather warrior, are you ready to get outside every day? We need to get our children outdoors and experiencing nature. As we know, being outdoors, you know, does our well-being, our wealth oh, of good, that vitamin D, the, the, all that stuff, it... Um, it just makes us feel so much better and it is so very easy sadly to just uh, be confined to the yeah. indoors you will find actually you know if um, if you've got challenging behavior going on within mm. your indoor environment generally you know listen to the children because they are telling you something mm. and more often than not you can calm that behavior by they being need to get outside. outside. They need to. Especially our boys, especially, you know, they're full of their testosterone and our two-year-olds who are having surges of, of hormones yeah. need to be able to be outdoors, connecting that, with that nature. That active learning, you know, children learn best when they are active and what better place to be active than the great outdoors and the curiosity approach and um, we're taking influences from Steiner through head heart and hands mm -hmm. uh, children's brains to embed that learning need to be active that connection with mind and body together so we need to get outside in the great outdoors Absolutely. those gross motor skills those um because children physical development mm -hmm. physical development before these finer motor skills come along and that formal learning of um writing yeah those gross motor skills need to be developed and also the the moments that can happen in the outdoors that just can't happen in the indoors there's no way you can replicate your outdoor area in your indoor area and you know and we would always say think about where you position things in the outdoors yeah. think about your art easel for example or your art space is it always just in the corner in your indoor yeah. what inspiration is that to the children however if you put it in the outdoors oh, you, you never know what's going to happen you never you know, know birds flying by, Absolutely. leaves fluttering down. The children are just inspired mm -hmm. by so many Noises things. Noises that they subliminally just hear. All of those things can just be captured. And so it's thinking about what you have in your outdoor space too. Is it full of loose parts? You know, just do you have the big loose parts, the drain pipes, the gutterings, the tyres, all of those things that children can be imaginative or with. It, or is your outdoors just um, a manufactured climbing frame with um, a bike, bicycle track, you know, that the ch children pedal around and around and around. We need to ensure that if you can't get out into the countryside, into mm -hmm. open spaces, that, that your outdoor play space, um, you know, offers a wealth of opportunity for your children and that you are prepared and ready for taking the children outside regardless Absolutely. of whatever weather you are a weather warrior and you prepared and ready whether it's your sun hats or whether it's your wet weather clothing your gear because in early years it is about getting mucky it is about getting messy and um, being ready to be partners with the children to play and children are so curious in the outdoors you know they you always know if there's a puddle, well, you, kind of as adults, we generally want to still get into it, I think, don't we? But we've experienced it. We know because from our own childhoods. And it's the same for our children now. We need to, to ensure that those opportunities are there for them 
in a world that has completely changed to what it was like yeah. for us as we were children. You know, our our children today are growing up in a very different world yeah. and we need to be mindful of those because they don't go outside as much as, you know, yeah. previous generations gone by. We need to be excited by getting outdoors. We need to show, you know, enthusiasm and um, share with them that Absolutely. experience and ensure that our outdoor play spaces offer offer a wealth of opportunities Absolutely. for them so that's o for outdoors thanks for checking in see you in the next video see you bye bye